This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. This is a question I've been grappling with for years. This question posed by this caller. If you don't know, I post, uh, I announce, I list my email address and my phone number at the end of every video, uh, encouraging listener communication to move the conversation forward. That phone number is 714-576-4054. And of course, that email address, as you would expect, is daily at dollamore.com. This is a question that uh, I have shifted my views, my views on, my stance on. Uh, let, let's get to it and then we will talk about it. And then of course, I will throw it to you for a more participation. Hey, Dalamore, I actually like your show. And I don't, I don't mean to crack on my people. I, I, uh, you know, it's just, I'm sorry. Donald Trump is a trifecta. He's a rich white man. Uh, actually, that, that used to be the president. He is not going to jail. You can you cannot tell me. I, I I would give up my blackness right now because he is not going to jail. They're not going to send that white man to jail. That man is not going to see the inside of a jail. This this country would never ever put somebody like him in jail. A white man with that kind of man. I'm sorry to say it like this. I don't mean I don't mean any disgrace or anything like that, but. He is not going to jail. I would be surprised if he went to jail. I would actually be, I mean, I'm honored to be an American, but I would be proud to be an American if he would actually go to jail for one of the things he's ever done, any little thing he's ever done. If he would go to jail for a day, I would, I would actually be proud of this country. Sorry, but that's the way I feel. No need to be sorry friend. No, no need to be sorry at all. I used to hold this position and it's been slowly over time that my viewpoint has shifted. My opinion has shifted. The hopes uh, of, of his incarceration and conviction for his crimes have kind of slowly morphed into an expectation of such. Uh, I would never ask you to give away, give up your blackness, as you said so... <laughs> so poignantly, and that you would be proud of this country if indeed Donald Trump does see consequence in the way of uh, incarceration for his many, many, many crimes. Now, the fact that I used to agree is based on a couple of different things. One is that I served on a federal grand jury in Orange County, California. The same, as I've said a couple times, the same grand jury that indicted Michael Avenatti. Remember that? POS, uh, ind indicted him for uh, his mistreatment of client funds, embezzlement. I don't know exactly what the charges were on the top of my head. So seeing the grand jury system really opened up my eyes, especially the federal grand jury system, to the amount of evidence that had to be presented to a grand jury to get it to the point where they're going to indict the ex-president of the United States of America. It's not an easy lift. They're going to make sure that their I's are dotted and their T's are crossed. Or as Sean Hannity once said, your T's are dotted and your I's are crossed. You better cross all your I's and dot all your T's. Donald Trump's very fond of talking about a two-tiered justice system. And what's interesting about that is we do have a two-tier justice system, just certainly not in the way that he wants Americans and MAGA Americans to believe. Imagine if some random black defendant in Alabama or Mississippi or Florida or Georgia or Louisiana or Texas, any, just name a municipality. If any random person, black person, let's say, was to be charged with these things and then behaving in a manner that is similar to Donald Trump's. Not identical, even just similar. No way they would be treated as respectfully and with the kid gloves that Donald Trump is being treated. There's not a chance, no shot, no way in any universe that that would be happening. Donald Trump is far and away being treated better more respectfully, more given chance after chance after chance than anybody else, especially 
if we inject uh, the, 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 the daily happenings with defendants of color, with people who are poor in the justice system. So I, I'm a little far afield, I guess, and I don't take it as a crack on white people, but we do have a two-tiered justice system. But the crimes that Donald Trump has committed and the evidence that had to be brought forward to a grand jury to get to where we are now means there is insurmountable evidence of the crimes. And I don't see a regular jury, once a, not grand jury, but regular jury hearing these, these details, I don't see them letting him off the hook. I think he will be found guilty and a judge will have no other choice than to sentence him to jail, not house arrest, not some nonsense where he can continue to cause problems, but jail. Anyway, uh, as always, I would throw it to you in the audience to talk about this. We can mix it up in the comments. If you'd like to call and continue this conversation that way, maybe we'll have a follow-up video. It is 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. I am on social media at dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, threads, TikTok, Facebook, Blue Sky, all of them at dollamore. If you're there and social media, I'm likely there at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And if you appreciate what I do, if you appreciate my take, if you can uh, appreciate the consideration that I, that, I, uh, that I manifest to make these videos and uh, to, to, to forward the conversation using my voicemail line, you can support my work, help produce my work. Click the join button below. Become a channel member for $1.99 a month. You can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. That is a great way. You can hit the super thanks button. But most importantly, Make sure you're actually subscribed. Not just having the videos delivered to you, but subscribe to the channel, like and comment, share this video with someone who needs the information, maybe wants to participate in this conversation. Um, I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.